So my chairs, Star Citizen chairs. So what I've done is I've extracted some of the chairs from various ships in the Star Citizen universe and kind of let's go through and break down why do they look good and what are some ways we can implement them into our own chairs. Uh, this one here is from the Hull Sea, I believe. Uh, yep, that one's from the Hull Sea. And because MISC also makes the C2, it's gonna be good to do a bit of a comparison, uh, but we'll do that at the end of the video. So once again, the textures are nothing special, which is absolutely awesome because it gives me hope. But let's actually have a look at the mesh density. So if we see our mesh, we can see that obviously this is real stuff here. So these grooves actually exist. But once again, we can start seeing all the little decals around. So these are here, these little insets are kind of the um, little bolts. And then obviously we've got our little sign here, but this stitching here is awesome. That's a decal. So if we come over in solid mode, we can see how that is sitting over the top. Let's actually check out the texture. We can see that it's all the way off to the side. So I've got a feeling that it's meant to be like this. And this line here is our stitching seam. Nope. Let's, uh, let's undo all that. But what I'm trying to do is just line that edge up. So we've got our line and then we've got stitching on the other sides. Yeah, there we go. I'll oh, get stuffed. I'll oh, get stuffed. There we go. We've now lined that up a lot better. So this is one of the, some of the decals here. Um, do we have anything around the edge here? It looks like we've got another bit of a slot that goes all the way around. Yep. So I'm really liking these slots and then probably over here as well, we've got some more hidden. There we go. There's that edge there. So just the amount of decals that have been used, this hole here, I was doing some testing the other day and I think this is something that we're gonna be taking apart. Sorry, not taking apart. This is something that we'll be using in a future project. Um, but we can see on the cables, I think this is really important as well to know how many um, faces are on the cylinder. It looks like there's only eight faces. So where when we go ahead and we add, add in a calendar, we go ahead and add in the cylinder, we're sitting at 32 faces. So really what we're working on here is that. Let's jump into the next one. This one is from The Mole. I do love how simple this is and especially how uh, the joysticks are attached to the side here. Now this is semi where I got the idea from for my ship. And so if we actually have a look at my ship, we can see I've got the controls. They are sitting a little bit off, um, but I love it how the controls are angled like that. This bit here is yeah, pretty versatile to be able to pull that up into whatever direction. Uh, so I really like my setup in there, but this one was very heavily inspired. Once again, you can see the very simple uh, geometry, how it all works. I mean, this is looks like a standard car seat, which is absolutely awesome. Um, there is nothing overly complex on this mesh. Um, and these are the thing, these are the types of things that actually give me inspiration to go like, Hey, just, just take it down. We don't need to have something with a whole bunch of pads like that every time. Let's just make it simple. looks like a car seat. Um, and I also do like the connection point down here on how it's kind of like, as if it's rubber grommets, grommets is the wrong word. Don't know the word flanges. No nope, flanges, uh, whatever these are. Now, this one here is from the Fury, I think it is. Uh, whatever this ship is, the Buccaneer, sorry. So this seat here is from the Buccaneer. Love this whole entire cockpit. I think we might do a future version of just breaking down cockpits, specifically for single-seater fighters, because I think this would be actually fairly valuable. Um, I do like the pipes here, kind of gives us that X-Wing style. But anyway, we'll talk about that in the future. This seat is fairly simple. Most of the complexity is on the sides because we obviously, we don't see the back. So the back's not very important. I do like the um, materials feeling kind of almost like, a, um, kind of want to say like a plastic material, but not really. So if we kind of go into rendered view, we can see that it is like a tarp material, jeans material. Uh, but once again, as well with the stitching, you can see that is just decals in there as well. The controller, predominantly there are a lot of the same controllers, nothing special on top of that controller, but it's just a very simple texture work. Love it. When I think about sci-fi ships, I think that 
this is what comes to mind. Um, this seat here is from the Avis Titan. And I think this is something kind of like I always want to replicate. replicate. This will be my primary source for reference in the future um, because it has the shoulder things that I've always after. It has this beautiful kind of like groove. I would like to separate this section though, but the style suits it so stinking well. Even how this seat comes around this semicircle, love it. That looks delish, even at the back here. Because, um, I mean, this one here actually spins around, I'm pretty sure. If we have a quick look through the Titan. Yeah, so this is the one that spins around as you walk up. Spins around. So you actually see the, both the back and the front of the seat. And we can see some very nice decals on there. Just giving it a little bit of um, extra wazoo. Looks like there's a very small decal that runs through there, which is just the stitching. Doesn't happen in every groove, and that is fine. What is that? But yeah, this is the classic sci-fi chair that I think of, as well as the C2 seat. Now, the difference between this one, actually, we'll bring them across. We can see that they're pretty much exactly the same. However, the C2 seat has a lot more decals on top of it, especially kind of like the red stitching, this stitching in here, which when I saw that, I was like, mm, gorgeous. But these seats are predominantly the same. Obviously, the back's a bit different. Uh, we do see a little bit of the back, but not really. But in the C2, it's got a lot more space. So that's why the design is a lot cleaner. But yeah, I love this stitch. I think that just gives it a little bit extra, almost like, um, almost like a little bit more quality to the seat itself. But I think we might have to do a video around creating our own seats, obviously using these as reference. I can see what I was trying to do here. However, I, I, I executed poorly. Look. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but this is the kind of stuff that we're using as inspiration to redo our models and, and hopefully just get better at what we do. So let's take a few steps back and see if we can maybe try and clean this up a little bit. So the first things first is I want to separate all the pads. So let's hide all those pads. So we've got kind of just the back end and we want to tidy this up. So I just want to go clear, sharp, lovely. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to make this a mirror modifier. Just so we only have to work with one side of it. Delete faces, lovely. So first up to make this match a little bit more like these seats over here. Let's go ahead and just bevel out some of these corners. Pretty sure we got all that selected. Let's do a control B to do a bit of a bevel, something nice and simple. And then we'll grab that loop, that loop, these loops. Just gonna deselect them down a smidge. Awesome, awesome. Let's do a control B now. Ooh, got a little bit of clipping there. That's fine. Something like that. That's looking a bit better. Let's bring all our padding back and see if we can salvage it from here. I think these pads here are okay. So let's go separate them. Let's just clean that up. So there's a mirror modifier there. So we don't have to worry about it. And I think I might just select the top faces. So with all that selected control I to invert the selection, delete faces. There we go. So we've got all our main points now. Now we can start joining up some of these meshes just to make our lives easier and simply selecting it all merge last. There we go and merge last. So let me quickly go through all this. And so this is now where we've ended it up. So we kind of want to follow a lot more of this pattern. So let's kind of grab some of that inspiration and let's go straight off to the side. And all I'm going to do is do a small bevel bring it back in, delete faces. There we go. And so this is kind of like when we go ahead and add in that subdivision surface, which we can do right now. Wait a minute. Let's throw on that solidify modifier first up top, then the subdivision. Beautiful. Um, and then it's kind of like from here, we can start building this up, bringing it back. We can bring it over and it looks like these faces haven't connected. There we go. Nice. I like that. And then from here, we can select a few edges. Let's do another control B just to bevel that out. What I actually might do is I might do four. Nope, let's do that again. Let's do a control B, add three. And then if we go ahead and delete those central ones, what I am expecting to happen 
is that when we delete these central ones, delete faces, we've got these really nice grooves. A little bit of clipping there, that's fine, but I like how that is evolved. Now let me just clean up that. Lovely. Oops. And we'll clean up this mesh. Now I did have the right idea, but I think I just executed it poorly. Let's do another control B. Three of them in there. Nice. Let's come in and we'll clear that one out. And already we can see just how much of an improvement. Yeah, that is looking nice. This one's actually more looking like the car seat. I am okay with that. Because we could even come in, control B, select that, delete faces. And that just looks so much more crisper. So it's really good finding things that work on other people's models, taking that idea and then plopping into your own. We're not copying, we're just using it as inspiration. So if you're still here, it's a bit of a long video, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Leave a comment on what you think I should look into next and kind of break down those scenes.